All right. Yeah, baby. Let's take a look at some really hot lenses. I mean, these lenses aren't hot. They're hot, hot, hot. Um, let's first move the detector over here. Now, you can actually clear this up by sticking these in the sunlight. Uh, it won't clear up the radiation. It'll just clear up. You see this yellowish, brownish uh, look through the lens right there? That is actually the radioactive thorium uh, causing a color shift in the actual uh, glass. This one's so powerful it's already setting off the detector. It's actually like pointing a gun at the detector. It's like pointed it. <laughs> you just point the rear element at the detector, at the back of the detector, not the front. It's just like pointing a gun at it. But uh, yeah, this is a uh, hot radioactive one. And uh, let's uh I think I, I forgot where I got my sensitivity set. It's actually so hot that it, uh, I have to peg my Geiger counter. I have to reset it. It pegs the Geiger counter, just like buries that needle like. The needle on the Geiger counter, if you look, it goes. <coughs> <laughs> uh. That's hot, baby. Um, let's take a look at something else here. These are uranite marbles. The yellowish uh, coloring is uh, from the, uh, the uranium that's in these. By the way, all thorium is decayed uranium. And uh, I don't know if you knew it or not, but uh, basically 100% of the Earth's um, helium that we get from uh, natural gas deposits, it's a runoff a side product. Every time you like have a balloon, this is kind of a neat way of thinking about it. Every time you mess with a balloon, a helium balloon, you're basically holding a bag of uranium farts. Well, what the hell does that mean? It means that the alpha emissions, which are two protons, two neutrons, they're the ejecta of thorium and uranium. Yeah, thorium is just decayed uranium anyway. But all of the Earth's helium that's inside your balloons and all that other stuff, it's basically uranium farts. <laughs> it means the alpha emission of uranium. So these are uranite marbles, I think from the 1950s. They're not incredibly powerful. But Here's another little radioactive lens. It's uh, pretty darn hot. Hot! Hot, hot, hot. See, it, it just slams that needle. Let me drop the sensitivity some. Actually, I need to drop it all the way for this hot lens, and it still pegs it. Turn the squelch down. So, uh, this lens is only a serious danger. If you stuck this lens in a cloud chamber, it'd make it look like a fireworks display. I don't know if you know how to make a cloud chamber. It's not that difficult. It only takes dry ice and rubbing alcohol. You can stick this thing in an aquarium. You can like, make a cloud chamber for $10. This thing will look like a fireworks display. Be going, pew, 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 pew. You see all these, uh, these contrails in the alcohol vapor, the chilled alcohol vapor. So, this sucker would literally look like a fireworks display. Um, but as far as the prior two videos, I told you people that some of those Nikkor lenses that are not that old, like the 200mm f4 and the 50mm f1.2, I told you that they're radioactive, and I'm right. The 105mm f2.5, they are radioactive. Check the prior video. Anyway, thanks for watching. So, uh, all those people that uh, bought that uh, 105 millimeter Nikkor and that 200 millimeter F4, you got a radioactive lens? Yeah! Uh, <laughs> uh, well, this is a big one. Is it literally pointing at the detector? It's like pointing a, pointing a gun at it. Anyway, you get the point. So, welcome to the world of radioactive lenses. 
Now the question is, is do you know why that they added thorium into these lenses? You see, all you people out there that think you know about lenses and all these, uh, these idiot YouTubers that are making videos, they don't know what lenses are. They don't know why they're designed the way they are. They don't know the way they are. Every lens is an electrical circuit. Okay, and these lenses are doped. Doped means stuff that's added to the glass to change the, uh, the properties of the lens as far as its transmissive properties, okay? If you think a lens is purely a uh, reflectivity or refractive index, then you're a fool because lenses are a whole lot more than the sum of their parts, so. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.